Here we go. That's a bit better, just uh, getting it live there. That's uh, wonderful. Oh, morning, Inga. Morning, and thank you very much. Oh, we've got a few people watching already. That's uh, just a bit flustered, really. It's not the last show, the end of an era, as it were. In fact, I'm going to celebrate with a quick cup of tea. Cheers. That's enough of that. Right. Okay, tea's on the go. And oh, lots of people are help. Oh, morning, Lee. Lee's a jumped on there. It's fantastic. And there we go. Oh, there. So I see comments a bit more clearly. Fantastic. No, we don't want to. Hang on. Don't want any sounds. Oh, look. Morning, Louise. Oh, Joanne's on, which means Sky and Jack are on. So morning, guys. Right. Well, here we go. For the last time, until further notice. Ladies and gentlemen, ensure your phone turns off and take your seats for the public situation show. <laughs> Facebook Live's going to carry on, but for the last show, welcome to Facebook Live. Um, if you have enjoyed the shows, please feel free to toss in a like and follow the page. Spread the word out there. Um, if you check at Punctuation Show on the following social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and indeed TikTok, um, we've got to at Punctuation Show. Feel free to follow on any of those, uh, those social media platforms. And, ladies and gentlemen, it's shout out time! Right, so shout outs, quite a few shout outs this week. And uh, let's see, where's my shout outs? List? Indeed, right, so shout outs. Uh, Kian from his new home in Belstead, Berwick, Switch. Okay, so he's been there about a week or so now, so I think he's hopefully settled in. Morning, Kian. Morning to Emily. Uh, I think uh, Emily's at school this morning, but uh, we'll be catching up uh, tomorrow. Uh, morning to Lila. Morning to Oliver in Newcastle. Morning to Carries from Darlington. Fantastic. They love to see Carries on pretty much every week there. Same with Evie May and Hunter. Fantastic. Also, Hunter's mum and dad checking out the buskers, my other uh, little sideline there on a Friday night. So, morning to Hunter. Uh, Isabel, uh, Isabella Duval and Beth Duval from Shropshire. So morning to you guys. Um, obviously been uh, messaging a little bit today as well. Um, Sky and Jack Cleverton, I've seen that to your mum's on this morning. Uh, morning to Emily, morning to Aaron and Lewis from Brooms in Leadgate. Morning to Toby from Ghoul and Tilly, who just sort of watches with Toby, but pretends she's not enjoying it. She's too cool, she's a bit too old. Uh, morning to the Ghoulies. Um, morning to Bethan. Uh, morning to Lucas and Lewis. Morning to Isla, Florence and Esther from Newton. There we go. I've oh, got to say good morning to Charlie in Cumbria, obviously, and Joshua Murray from round the corner. Morning to Nathan. Morning to Ewan in Durham. Morning to Oliver in Horwich there. Uh, morning, morning to Daniel, Evie and Lila in Lanchester. And Grace and Jackie Luton. And a lot of people watching from Luton, which is always good. Uh, morning to the Loonies. Been a solid fans of the show, which has been fantastic to the Loonies. Morning to Oliver from Concert Computers. Morning to Cody. Uh, morning to Bella and Bethany. Uh, morning to Joe. Now Joe was a bit late last week, and he was. A, it's a you don't need to. You don't need to worry about being late to the show. Uh, just to, just to let you know. And um, just to, on that note. Um, all the live shows, if you missed any of them, if you go onto the punctuation show page, um, you'll see down the tabs, this is on a, a normal PC or, or laptop, you'll see some tabs down the side, and at the bottom of those tabs you'll see live, a button called live. If you click on that, you can watch any of these shows again. If you want to hear your name mentioned out in the shows, then you can go do that anytime you want them. Uh, Max and Cody, uh, morning to you guys. And, and a few schools that have been helping me out are sharing to get the word out there. Um, Oasis Academy, the Isle of Sheppey. Uh, so thanks to you guys there. Big shout out to Kenton Academy in Newcastle. Fantastic school there, as indeed with the, the North Durham Academy. And uh, uh, the Kenton School, um, uh, Bagley Hall School, Penkridge Middle School. So lovely to see uh, you guys this week. Get in touch, let me know you've been watching. That's fantastic. Lovely to see you guys. Fantastic middle school there. Uh, the Baskerville School. 
uh, Wellfield School, school I actually used to work out, actually absolutely doing that wonderfully now, and it is a joy to see that uh, it finally achieving its potential. Some fantastic young people going there, as indeed fantastic young people going to St Pius uh, down the Grove, Bruce Primary in Ledgate, and indeed the wonderful Coyley Primary School in Dicton. Some fantastic schools there. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at the ellipsis. And indeed, now we see these getting misused all the time. Hopefully we're going to put a few of those ideas to bed and to learn how we can use an ellipsis effectively. Now an ellipsis basically is used to show an omission of expected words. That's a posh way to describe it. Now it's often used, whoop, whoop, there we go, getting a bit carried away there. It's often used to show dramatic pause in a sentence. Now when it's used in this way, it's made up of three dots, no more, no less, three, three dots. Three dots, no more and no less. So, when it's used in this way as well, it makes a really dramatic effect on a sentence. And it goes something like this. There you go. In case you missed that, it makes a really dramatic effect on a sentence like this. see that in action because clever writers will use that effect to really engage readers in what they've written to get them using their imaginations when they're thinking about description we're using their imagination so because that's a really powerful tool you can get your readers thinking about what you've written so we've got an example here walking towards the room the man stopped but if we've got that ellipsis in there this is how it's going to sound, okay? Get rid of it. It's a bit scary, this part of the show, okay? It's a bit scary, so um, you might want to cuddle into mum or dad if you're watching with them. Well, here we go. Walking towards the room, the man stopped. There you go, absolutely terrifying. So the ellipsis here makes us wonder why the man has stopped. What is he going to do next? What is he up to? We're thinking our imagination is working. Okay, and that's what you've managed to do as a writer. You've made the reader start thinking and use their imagination. That means you're being successful in your writing. Now, duh, duh, duh isn't the only effect we can create when using an ellipsis. Now, um, we've got another effect that we can create. Now, this time, obviously, there's lots of budget cuts at the minute. Coronavirus has a, had a real dampening effect on the economy, and I couldn't afford the other sound effect. So, if you could all do a little drum roll on your legs like this. That's it. If you'd all join in, drum roll on your legs. Come on. Tell mum and dad to help you. Come on. And that's what I want you to do at the end of this sentence. So, get ready. And the winner is uh, fantastic, absolutely superb. Because the ellipsis here is being used to build suspense and anticipation in a sentence. They're the two key effects that uh, that we use an ellipsis for can really help add some impact and drama to our sentences. And ladies and gentlemen, it's your turn. Indeed, I need a clever person in this audience to answer the following question. I need to know which of the following should include an ellipsis. And your choices are as follows. Are you coming to the park? The door opened. Or what's your name? Now, think about those and think about which of them could have that da, da, da effect on the end of it, okay? So, are you coming to the park? The door opened. Or, what's your name? Which one of those do you think should include an ellipsis? Get typing really quickly, 
Your time starts now! <laughs> just spilt me tea. Right, never mind. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. Uh, Jeanette, uh, well done, Jeanette. Fantastic. Oh, Sky and Jack have got it right. Oh, fantastic there. Uh, Ronnie Owen's got there. There, fan. Well done, Inga. Lots of correct answers there. Although I suppose I shouldn't have told you the correct answers. But indeed, it is that right. There we go. The door opened. Because the others are in fact questions, so an ellipsis wouldn't really work. So let's have a look at that again. The door open. Fantastic. I should have had the ellipsis coming in there, but uh, there we go. Not a perfect science. Now, the others are questions, so an ellipsis wouldn't really work. There's your cheer. All of you getting it right. Don't worry, you will get your certificates a bit later on today. And indeed, remember, now, lots of people don't know this. Uh, in fact, the only people that do know this, I think, have been really studying the ellipsis for the past couple of years. Or they are, in fact, exam markers, uh, which I would traditionally be, but I'm not this year because there were no exams. Now, an ellipsis can occur in a sentence without the need for those three dots. And we've got an example here. John watched his mother and went over to help. Now, we could have written that, John watched his mother and he went over to help. John watched him with his mother and he went over to help. But we missed out the word he in this version that we've written. The omission of the word he is also referred to as an ellipsis, okay? But it doesn't include the dots, it's not as much fun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the song coming up. I do like this song, it's lots of fun. Now, through the chorus, I'd like you all to go get everyone in the room joining in. The chorus goes, ellipsis, ellipsis, you don't want to miss this. Learn how to use them and include three little dots because that's the most fun way to use an ellipsis. So when that comes along, I want you all going, three little dots and shout it as loud as you can. Okay, so ready, so after three, one, two, three, three little dots, just like that. Fantastic, absolutely superb. Right, now, the other thing uh, you should bear in mind, unlike um, lots of these TV programs you might watch on a Saturday night, your X Factors and things like that. Lots of those people, they're not really singing live. I just want to reassure you, all of the singing in this show is live. This is me talking through a microphone. This is on Facebook Live. This is going to be me singing live. Even though sometimes I might sound a bit like a woman. Hey. 
Savior time When copying out quotes Put their lipses in the middle To make sure that I'm your notes That's right Oh, ellipsis, ellipsis You don't want to miss this But how do you remember How do you three little dots Oh, ellipsis, ellipsis A round of applause, folks. Absolutely fantastic. And now, now it's time for the cartoon. Zoom in. What are you doing? I'm putting my lips on this paper. What? I want to show that the rest of the sentence is missing. To do that, you need to put your lips in. <laughs> ah, you mean an ellipsis? Sis? I'm not your sister. <laughs> no, an ellipsis. When you want to show that a thought or sentence trails off to silence, you put three dots in, and that's called an ellipsis. Ah, just three dots then. Well, let's face it. I think you're dotty enough as it is. <laughs> well, there we go, Facebook Live. Uh, that's all we have time for. Indeed, we still have the follow-up sessions. If you go along to the punctuationshow.com slash quiz, find the ellipsis session and complete the quiz and you can download your certificate to complete your collection. Uh, don't forget to post it in the comments so we can see, everyone can see how well you've done. And um, as well as that, the TikTok challenge. If you're on TikTok, get yourself on there, search for Podcast Revision, the Ellipsis song. Uh, my version should come up. It's not very good, to be honest, but I'm sure you can do a better one. Let's see how good yours can be if you get yourselves on TikTok. Um, as well as that, um, you've got your free comic again, the punctuationshow.com slash comic. Um, it's in the main, co uh, main title of this video. Uh, you can go there. That's just exclusive uh, to people watching the live shows. Okay, so if other people don't know about that, it's not on the website itself. It's exclusive to the Facebook Live audience. Now, I have... As it happens, as a leaving present, and a massive thank you to everyone that showed me so much support so for these shows. I've got you all a present. I'll be posting that up on the show later on. Um, for everyone that's watched, I've got you a voucher. Now, this voucher is a special voucher. That voucher that I'm going to post up for every single one of you, so don't, don't tell to everybody about it. That voucher entitles you to spend £50. £50 of your own money in a shop of your choice. That's right, 50 pounds to spend in a shop of your choice of your own money. Uh, so that will be being posted later on today. Um, final word from me, please like and share the video. If you don't mind, if you can get the word out there, let people know about the punctuation show. Uh, if you're a young person that has enjoyed the shows, when you get back to school, please tell your teachers about me and hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to get back into schools and the live shows with an audience uh, will so much better than these ones, okay? We'll have so much fun. You've been fantastic. Thanks, everyone, for the support. Thank you and goodbye.